how big a threat is Omicron? I think Omicron is, uh, so far has uh, shown to be a lot more infectious. I think that is an uh, established fact. Um, but scientists are still uh, are looking at data whether to decide whether Omicron is likely to be more serious, the same as Delta, or less severe than Delta. Initial data seems to suggest that it may be less severe than Delta, uh, but we need more data because uh, this is just the beginning of Omicron. The number of cases uh, that are uh, facing severe outcome is still very limited. We need to have this trend established before we can come to a, a, a conclusion. Uh, but initial uh, signs are encouraging. But also bearing in mind that even if the severity is less, but if the inf infectiousness is significantly higher, on a net basis, it's still a very serious threat. But whether it's Omicron or Delta, uh, it is quite clear that um, the virus is here to stay. It mutates as time goes on, and it becomes more and more infectious, and now it is a, a global uh, pandemic. So I think it is important for us to bear in mind that we need to continue to remain nimble, yes. be prepared to adjust our measures as we go along, depending on the variants that will emerge, but be prepared to live with uh, COVID-19 for a long time to come. Respect the virus, but don't uh, fear the virus. That's and it, I know that this is such a rapidly evolving situation uh, for you uh, within uh, the ministry and within uh, government, but at this stage, can you tell us whether the VTLs will remain open? I think the Singapore as a start, uh, Singapore has to remain connected to the rest of the world. <coughs> uh, whether it's through VTL, whether it's through uh, 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 the uh, uh, special green lanes, uh, it is something that we will need to continue to adjust. And even with VTL, as you have seen over the last few weeks, we have adjusted the parameters of VTL, whether it's in terms of a, a number of VTL lanes, uh, uh, flights that are available, uh, whether it's in terms of a testing regime, uh, we will continue have to have to adjust, but I think VTL is here to stay uh, for, for, for a long time to come. And the uh, hope is that uh, as time goes on, as we gain more confidence and greater knowledge about Omicron and uh, even the new uh, variants that may emerge, we will be more confident in our measures and we will have to continue to be, to be prepared to be uh, nimble and to adjust as time goes on.